Okay, welcome back, everyone. Now you can know what Gordon Ramsay's own kitchen nightmare is because one of his high-end gastro pubs in London is currently full of squatters. So it turns out that this restaurant was undergoing refurbishment, and they they closed the building to the public before the builders came. Squatters came in, so they broke the locks, filled them with glue, so no one could get back in, and they have locked themselves. Inside the building, and so usually Gordon would be probably very angry at this situation. But unfortunately, if he starts swearing at them, shouting at them, demanding that they leave, he is actually going to be the one that's probably going to get into trouble for it, due to some unfortunate English laws, which says that people who are residing in a non-residential building don't have to be forcefully removed, mm. and so. As you can imagine, Gordon Ramsay's restaurant is very expensive. So as this is going on, he's losing an incredible amount of money, and so he has kind of two options, I guess, for what he should do in this situation. He can either go the legal route, so do everything that he is supposed to do, but unfortunately, I think that's going to be a very lengthy and expensive、right. experience for him. Or on the other side, which is probably what the squatters want from him. Is that he pays them to leave、uh, an unknown amount? We don't know what amount of money that they want,、um, but those are unfortunately his two options. So he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place as to what he should do in this situation. But hopefully it can be resolved and no one gets hurt. And maybe it's time for UK laws to be changed to try to avoid this situation from happening、mm. in the future.、Mm. So, as you know, Gordon Ramsay is a very famous TV chef. Do you think that it's possible to learn cooking skills from watching TV?、Mm, well, it hasn't helped me. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how to cook from any of this, any of his、uh, Hell's Kitchen episodes. So maybe I didn't watch enough. Maybe there's like a course that you have to go through. Like, maybe.、Uh, have you learned anything? Ah.、Uh. Actually, I in the past I really enjoyed a show called Great British Bake Off. Ah,、oh, right. I've heard so of it. it wasn't very helpful for like actual healthy meal cooking,、mm-hmm. but my dessert game I think definitely definitely、mm-hmm. improved. So those maybe, potluck parties, yeah. You bring this I think maybe for you the key is to practice what you see, not just、mm-hmm. watching it.、I、you just, need to actively I just, try. I want it made for me. I just want to be part of the eating process. Ah. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you? What do you think it would be like to manage a restaurant like this, a gastro pub?、Mm, not I, a few years ago, I was really, you know, gun ho about like starting my own restaurant here in Korea,、Ooh. Mexican restaurant. Can you cook? <laughs> Mexican. I got contradicting, <laughs> contradictory information here. Look, I know what I can cook, and that's that. I can cook what I know.、Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just that, and when I looked into it,、uh, it's too difficult. There's so many things to think of. It's not just the food, but everything else, and your know, licenses and、I、certifications to be able. Health and checks. I, yeah. So. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't want any of that. And、uh, what if you know, people get sick from the food, or、oh, right. you you not, you're not only dealing with your、uh, cleanliness in how you deal with the, you know with the ingredients, but what if you get a bad batch and then、mm. people get sick, you get sued, people squat in your place. Oh, That's、fine. really scary. I didn't even know that something like that could happen. Oh, oh. have you ever wanted to with your? <laughs> With your baked goods,、skills. yeah. Oh, maybe I think like a pipe dream would be having like a quiet life of owning like a cute little bakery. But、mm. as you said, I think that、uh, everything that goes on behind the scenes of owning a food establishment is really stressful.、Mm-hmm. And also, I think that my time working in a, comp-、uh, a customer service job. Those days are over. I think I don't have the patience that I did when I was younger.、Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, I think my my bakery dream is dead before it has even started. You could be the new Gordon Ramsay, be yeah, foul mouthed as well. Yeah, maybe <laughs> it worked for、Fun、him. <laughs> so we hope that you enjoyed the article today. Make sure that you review the vocabulary and try to incorporate it into your own life if you can. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Culinary. Culinary.
Darn. Darn. Foul mouth. Foul mouth. Pull something off. Pull something off. No nonsense. No nonsense.